So in the video that we just released, we talked about how graphics card demand is down by 40% and everything is crashing and we are seeing the return to normalcy in the GPU market. However, it appears that there is a new little fix for certain graphics cards that make them mine 30 to 50% better on Ethereum by using just a simple little program that gets everything running. I'm just gonna walk you guys through it. I'm gonna explain all of it, but I, I don't see a whole lot of reason why this would actually affect the demand in the market. All this does is potentially give people a little bit better profits in a way that is uh, very helpful. With that said, there is a new program that appeared on GitHub called an F allergement uh, pill, basically, where it talks about Ethereum dysfunction on specific graphics cards that have GDDR5X memory. And those graphics cards would be the 1080, the 1080 Ti, Titan XP, Titan X Pascal. Those are the ones that are running GDDR5X. When you run this program while you're running your Ethereum miner, it allows them to actually access better hashing rates that you would see on their specific mining variant. So we have something like the GP104 or the GP102, which are the mining additions of the 1080 Ti and the 1080 from NVIDIA. And when you run those, you get very similar hash rates that you do when you actually run this program with these basic graphics cards. So we're not seeing anything that we haven't seen before, but what we are seeing is something that allows us to get hash rates that are similar to cards that already exist on the market based on the same architecture in a very similar fashion. However, there are also a lot of uh, caveats that come with this. One, we have no idea what the security about this is. It could be a potential backdoor to steal your private keys and your wallets and everything that's on your system. So download this at your own risk. We don't have enough information out about it yet. So definitely check that out. Also, there have been reports that it increases the amount of rejected shares that you get from your system and that you're not going to actually be mining as much Ethereum or Ethereum-like stuff because it's going to send them back and you're just not going to actually mine as much. And then thirdly, there is also the potential that this could be doing a lot more strain on your hardware in a way that is not okay for it and it could actually end up hurting your GPU. So with all of those caveats, this is obviously not the you know grand savior that everybody would want it to be, but this is something that has recently appeared in the mining community and I wanted to discuss it with everybody because I'm sure half of you are gonna be like, yes, I can get better performance out of my cards. And then the other half are gonna be like, why do you talk about these things, Brett? Why do you give them more fuel for the fodder? We want our GPUs back to normal prices. Well, my friends, I don't think this is going to actually change the demand of GPUs. I. I actually don't think it's even really possible to do that just because the way, I, I'll explain this in a bit. After I, I, after I show you guys how it works, I'll explain exactly why I don't think that this is actually going to affect the demand on 1080s, 1080Ti's, and uh, the, the various rest of the cards. But if you also wanna verify somebody else's checking out of this system, you can check out Son of a Tech's video right up there. He did a decent job. You can see what type of performance he got with his 1080Ti on the improvements. But now it's time for me to show you guys how to do it. So let's go ahead and check out how we can actually get this set up and see if it's even legitimate because some people have been questioning whether or not it works. So I'm gonna do a live demonstration of it. We're gonna open the Ethereum miner, which I already have set up to run on the 1080 Ti. Uh, basically all it's gonna do is show us what the default uh, running speed of this is and we could get a base measurement of our Ethereum performance. Zero mega hash, J video's over, it's all done. There we go, we have the default 32 mega hash right there. This is just complete bone stock on this Zotac uh, Amp Extreme. So we're pulling 1900 core clock, 10.2 gigahertz on the memory clock. So right now what I wanna do is I wanna go ahead and set my um, you know, standard overclocking that I do for, for Ethereum. So we're gonna go ahead and do plus 800 on the memory. We're doing minus 100 on the core clock and then setting the power limit down to 80%. So our memory clock right now is at 11.8 gigahertz. And that, we're gonna see what we get up to. So about 37.2, 37.1 is what my overclocked uh, 1080 Ti is doing on its Ethereum performance. So we're gonna reset everything. All of the links for everything is gonna be in the video description. So we're gonna open up the program, which is, oh God, an eth, alert, eth largement tool, R2. Uh, so that's that's open now. F largement pills are currently being served. Please keep this window open and we'll continue dosing your card as needed. Now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna open up the miner once again in order to see what its default performance is. So again, we're back to stock clocks. We're running at 10.2 gigahertz on the memory. We're running at 1900 megahertz on the core clock. Power limit's normal, everything's normal. So by default, so the default without the enlargement tool was 32 mega hash. Now we're at 45 mega hash. So that's a 13 mega hash improvement, which is 40% by base. A 40% improvement from doing nothing. I just opened that up. We're even at 44.94. So basically 45 mega hash over 32, 40% improvement by just opening an app on this 1080 Ti 
absolutely bananas. So now let's let's apply the overclock that or underclock that I had over underclock minus 100 on the core and then plus 800 on the memory. And let's see what we get on our theorem at 55 mega hash per second. Absolutely crazy. So it was uh, it was at 37.2 before. So now it's at 55.5. So 37.2 divided by 37.2. That is a 50% improvement in even the overclocked performance just by using this app on the 1080 Ti's mining performance. This does give people other options as far as what they what they can actually mine with their 1080 Ti's if they already have them for mining. So if we pull up the calculator to see what what our rates are, so and so we can see that now Ethereum is the most profitable for a 1080 Ti over Metaverse, Motocoin, Pearl is really high up there. So if we put if we put Ethereum to its base on what to mine, we'll see that Monacoin, Bitcoin Gold, Equihash, and Lyra 2 Rev2 algorithms are the most profitable. $2.19 after electricity is taken into concern at a base uh, electricity consumption. And then if we up that hash rate to 55.5, which is what we're getting right now, we see $2.48 is the best for Ethereum. And this is obviously, like Ethereum hasn't been doing well um, as far as the currency has been concerned, it's been down pretty heavily, especially compared to other coins. So if Ethereum sees a major spike, we could actually see 1080 Ti's also being used for Ethereum mining. The GDDR5X memory that was a, a limiter before is no longer an issue. This increases profitability on these cards by quite a considerable amount. Not, I mean, you get 13% better profits. So mining is 13% more profitable by just opening an app. You get 50% better mining performance on Ethereum. So this could be uh, helpful for a lot of people. Earning that extra 30 cents per day could mean a lot. And so with that out of the way, what we can see is that, yes, we got a 40 to 50% bump in our TDTI's mining, uh, Ethereum mining performance, which is absolutely phenomenal. However, the caveat there is that it doesn't bring it to the point where it's omega profitable or like, this is the only thing you should be mining. Like you could kind of mine other coins and still be roughly as profitable unless Ethereum spikes, you're not gonna be making a whole lot more money. And even based on the fact that a 1080 Ti is going anywhere from 900 to $1,100 right now, like 55 mega hash on a $900 card, you can buy two to three RX 580s for that price and get 60 to 90 mega hash on those GPUs. That like this is not a great value for money. This is not going to increase the rate that of which 1080Ti's and 1080s and all of those are being snatched up for. This simply does not provide enough value to consider buying these graphics cards for, especially at the current price. They would have to be at MSRP or even lower for that to happen. This simply just gives 1080, 1080 Ti owners and the rest of the like to actually get better performance out of the card and maybe make a little bit extra money. Another 30 cents per day or $9 a month on their cards. It's not fantastic. This is like, yes, 50% better Ethereum performance is something that you should be skeptical of, but then at the same time, it's not unprecedented on this architecture. Like it happens on other cards that are using the same core, the same memory. It just happens to be that they're optimized for mining from NVIDIA directly. And so the fact that we might be able to do this with a program is very enticing. And I wanted to bring this to you guys, but also with the caveats mentioned at the beginning of this video, this could be a Trojan. Don't keep, don't keep your information on the PC that you're like mining with. Don't do that. But then secondly, this could be uh, something that actually hurts your mining performance if you get rejected shares more of the time and it doesn't actually allow for mining to continue properly. But then lastly, it could be running your GPU way out of spec and in a way that it is not designed to and you could be burning out the memory a lot faster than it otherwise would be. So tons of caveats. But then at the same time, I just wanted to bring this information to you guys. We saw immediate performance. I saw no increase in rejected shares whatsoever. This honestly worked perfectly for me and my mining system. Um, so th there's that. But I'm not going to be mining Ethereum on my 1080Ti's. This is still just going to be you know, a display piece. And then the 1080Ti that's currently in that system is for our editing rig. So like we're not we're not switching to mining Ethereum on our 1080Ti's right now. And maybe, maybe you w might want to, but then at the same time, it might not be in your best interest. Anyways, let me know if you guys have checked this out and if you have seen any increased performance by telling me down in the comments or in the Discord. Also, uh, let me know what you think of this. Do you think this is a scam? You think this is a backdoor? Do you think this is a problem? I wanna hear what your thoughts are. Let's have a discussion surrounding that because obviously I'm not here to shill anything for you. I'm just here to provide information, but be sure to smash the like button if you enjoyed this video. Please get subscribed to stay up to date on all of our tech-related content. I'm Brett with the UFD Tech Channel. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Cheers.
and I cut this entire part out of the video. I might throw it out after the outro. Cause it's gonna be a weird little thing that I'm just singing tonight. Twain, any man of mine. Is that what it was? Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Come on, give me a hash rate. I mean, 30 cents per day is what, $9 extra a month? That means that you're gonna pay off the TI a little bit faster.